Jasper's really tired now and uh, we're heading to the beach. I just, I can't get over waking up and seeing this blue sky every day. Yeah, no, they didn't bite you, did they? Oh, they bit me though, ouch. You still seem quite tired. Are you gonna be a good boy from now on? We need good behavior today, please. I, I don't know if it's the heat or what, but he has been he, he, a little bit of a pickle. He did get an earlier night last night. He just doesn't seem to have helped. We're connected, this is fantastic news, so we can pre-cool the car. Climb it on, please. Wow, interior of the car, 47 degrees. So we definitely want that to work then, don't we? No, not failed. Come on, Signal. Help me cool the car down, will you? Yay! You know, I think I can hear the fans on the car going from over here. Yeah, you can hear the fans working. Oh, it's nice. It's perfectly fine in there. You people. I should have brought my drone. Yeah. Cars that cool themselves. Boom. While I was paying for the parking and finding a parking space we're actually allowed to be in, I switched on to the shops. Found you. Uh oh, still moaning. If you're well behaved this afternoon, we might think about getting you a little something, okay? But really good behaviour or no chance. You being a good boy? Yeah. Mm, don't know about that. We had a bit of a meltdown. Seems to have improved a little bit now though. Is this your first time in the sea, Jasper? Yeah. Bye, baby. I was going to go for a run later, but I'm not anymore because I've done loads and loads of swimming up and down in the sea. We're heading back to the car in a minute, so as it's a bit toasty, let's just turn that on. Oh, it's not so bad. 34 degrees. We did say if he was a good boy, there was a shop that we passed on the way here that had some like little tractors and things. But it's all dependent on whether he was a good boy. Uh, I want to get your little toy tractor. Uh, uh, mummy, give me down to the act. Now, are you going to be a really good boy for mummy from now on? We're gonna go do a little bit of emergency shopping. Jazzy's just having a quick snooze. I just wanted to quickly clear something up because loads of people still li leave comments saying, I thought the whole point of a holiday was you're gonna not vlog. You see, the thing is, right, I enjoy vlogging. I don't want a holiday from it. What I want is to have more interesting locations and places with which to go and vlog. And I especially don't want to not be vlogging on holiday. Having that footage of us having fun in interesting places, it's an extremely enjoyable thing for me and I would enjoy the holiday less if I didn't vlog it. That's actually the reality. And check that out. How do you, who would not want to have footage of that? Talking specifically about if you're going on holiday in an electric car, in this case it's Tesla, but really it applies to any electric car. Arranging to be able to use the power at wherever it is you're staying or staying somewhere with a Tesla destination charge or anything like that is actually pretty damn critical because what it means is you have no worries about where you can go or for how long or I mean you know we're sat here just for sleeping in the back of the car just leave the door open a crack so that the aircon carries on flowing he's comfortable in there he's not going to overheat i'm not going to overheat don't have to wake him up and take him into the shop 
it's a civilized experience. If we take trips, we come back, it's irrelevant. We don't have to worry about or think about charging at least out to a hundred mile radius from the hotel, which um, let's face it, we're not gonna be driving anything like that far. It also means when we come to go home, we don't have to worry about stopping off immediately and charging the car. We leave with a full battery that will get us all the way back up to Torino at least. Although I'm not sure that that's the route we'll be taking when we leave. I've had people say, watch out for the charging infrastructure in Italy. And there's no doubt about it. Italy is, well, behind. I haven't seen another electric vehicle since I've been here. I'm sure there is one somewhere. Oh no, that's not true. Because of course they had the little tuk-tuk-y things. They were electric. I would imagine so from back in a minute. And uh, I'm just gonna chill out and drink some water. I think it's quite hot. Still sleeping sweetly. Okay, so it's taking longer than I thought she would in the shop. You'd think after almost 15 years of marriage, I'd have worked out that she takes quite a while. In the meantime, I just wanted to quickly talk about Tesla and the Model 3 delivery event, or in fact, all their delivery events. I think it's a little bit unfair in a lot of ways that they have an event in the US and they don't have any kind of a, an event in the UK or in the rest of Europe. I think what they need to do is they need to have like a kind of UK specific one, you know, make a few production vehicles, you know, okay, there'll be left-hand drive ones, not right-hand drive, fine, I accept that, but you know, just ship them over. Tesla in the UK can have their own little event where big screen, streaming live what's going on in Fremont of course with Elon Musk and the, the main delivery event and another one in Tilburg something like that I think I, that would be brilliant if they did that then there would be something for people who can't easily get to Fremont California to sort of attend I think that's something that Tesla should consider having a sort of a, a mini event yeah, because I would love to do something. Yeah, I suppose I can sit at home and stream it live, but it's not quite the same thing, is it? Well, I don't think it is anyway. Yeah, no, Jasper is totally zonko. Also, while we're on the subject of Jasper and his behavior, me and Soph have a kind of differing sort of opinion on the best way to do things. She doesn't really think it's a great idea to what is effectively bribe him you know say behave well and we'll give you a treat or we'll give you a treat make sure you behave well or we'll take it back or any iteration like that she thinks he should just behave well for the sheer love and joy of family life i on the other hand not i'm not i'm not convinced that works as well as i'd like it to work little treats to help encourage good behavior. I don't, I don't see the problem in that, personally. But I mean, am I just storing up major issues for the future? I'd be genuinely interested to hear what other parents' take is on this. He looks so peaceful when he's asleep. Oh, I had a fun shot. Oh yeah. I like having a car on holiday, especially if it's an electric one, and I've got somewhere to charge it. He's quite a little runner. been having a spot of trouble with this GoPro Hero 5 Black recently. It sort of records a bit of footage and then it goes memory card error and that's it. You have to use a computer to empty the memory card before it will do anything else. Now normally when I empty the memory card I don't actually do a full format. This time I have. I'm hoping it's going to solve the problem. So what that means is I'm going to shoot the rest of today's vlog post on this GoPro Hero 5 Black. Awesome. Speaking of which, everyone else is at the pool and that's where I'm heading now. That'd make quite a good Instagram, wouldn't it? I'm having another go at that time lapse. You know, the one where the lights come out of the dark. And there's a real art form to this whole time lapse nonsense. 
it's good to have a little hobby like this. I mean, some people sort of come to the mountains and paint. Others come to the mountains and vlog. Guess I'm one of the vlogging type. He's pretty good at having fun, is our Jasper. Soap's coming in a minute. We're gonna have a bit of a romantic evening because I've set up a baby monitor, sort of. I'm using an app on a phone. What that basically means, hopefully, give this a go. I should be able to just, of course it's not working now. It worked fine, I was in the room, I used it five minutes ago, it was flawless. Now, I've had the ice so just a little bit too low there, so I've turned it up a bit. Hopefully it's still not grainy, but equally, you can actually see a little bit more of what's going on. I'm gonna say goodbye now, because Soph's gonna be here in a minute. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already, and I will see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Oh, there's a reason I don't do this job. Isn't there? But I appreciate your uh, your helping me out here. I mean, you won't right, you watch here. the video. Just go I've slowly. Got to, I've, I've got to watch out for side for it. Oh dear. <laughs> so you need to just shoot, shoot. Nice and stably, nice and stably. And there we go.